Okay. I think some people believe God predestines some people for hell. No matter even if they are trying to change, even if they are doing his will, I think some people believe God predestines some people to hell. Okay. Which I believe is wrong. Which I believe is not true. Even if it is so, how would you know you are part of that group? I think demons are playing with your mind, which I believe demons play with many people's minds, including mine. So let's go to John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that what that whosoever believeth in him should not perish and you may say to me what does perish mean i believe in the context of the bible perish is dying without god dying in sin so we may die from this world, but if you die in Jesus Christ, meaning if you die being obedient to God, yes, you die on this earth, but it is not the same thing as perishing in this context, I believe. So when you see perish, I believe most of the time when you see perish, maybe not all the time, but I believe most of the time when you see perish, it is dying without God in your life. As in dying in sin. Perishing as in dying in sin and going to hell afterward, I believe. So that whosoever, right here, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So where do you see predestination here? I think I see choice. So Jesus has been given to us so that we don't have to perish, right? So it is our choice to accept Jesus or not. So who really determines if you go to hell or not? You. Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. So you don't have to be depressed. You don't have to cry all day. You don't have to believe that God doesn't love you. Because as you can see in John 3 and 16, that he does love us. That is why Jesus Christ was given to us to save us. If you choose him, I believe Jesus died for our sins. So if you accept him, you don't have to go to hell. I believe I am saying that correctly. So let's go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Okay. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing. Here we go again. We are going to see the word perish again, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay. I like how it is how it is in the expanded Bible here. The Lord is not slow or late in doing what he promised. Huh? The way some people understand slowness. But God is being patient with you. Huh? He does not want anyone to be lost, to perish. Which, do you remember what I said about perish? Dying without God. Dying in sin. I believe dying and going to hell afterward. 
but he wants all people to change their hearts and lives, come to repentance. So where is predestination there? From John 3 and 16, I believe it is talking about choice, right? We have a choice to accept Jesus. In 2 Peter 3 and 9, it is a choice. He doesn't want us to go to hell. If you go to hell, I believe it is because of you. So don't let demons mess with, with your mind and make you believe that no matter what you do, you are going to hell anyway. We have a choice. Let me stop here. God bless you.